Hey everyone, Jodas here, and today we're reviewing the Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Class E6 Blur. Now this here is from Series 1 of Blur. Now Blur, he's introducing from 1986 to Transformers the movie. He is one of the funniest characters, one of the funniest Autobot, and he is the fastest Autobot in the world. And yes, he does have a fast talk. He's sound like it belongs to a Micro Machine commercial, remember that. It's like, yeah, it was a good thing. Yeah, sorry about it. He's a fast speak. So, yeah. I'm just matching this. So, yeah, Blur, he's the only girl, but he's throughout up until season four. And that's about it. He was also. But I'm not going to spoil it about this. He did appear to Headmaster Anime Series, but unfortunately, after Cybertron is blown him up, the city is ruined. Hot Rod, Cub, and so is Blur. He just left. Lita's RC and Willy behind it. And that's kind of shock was this. I'm not going to spoil it about this. So here is Blur in his some kind of spear car mode, in his futuristic car mode. Now she comes over to weapon surgery. Now he comes over surgery. He comes with a little peg. It's got a little peg here. I'm gonna take this off the weapons. Now he comes with the blaster rifle, just a white plastic. Nice little pretty details. He comes with looks like a I no idea this is some kind of tools weapons. I believe this is he used in the movie where when he was held with Ultraman, he has been badly damaged, just blow to pieces by Ult or Galvatron. He got the Matrix, took it away. So it eventually helps so RC and the other story helps Ultraman put it fixed together. Oh, and the Ragnar and the crews also help it too, because it reveals they were friends, they're not enemies. So yeah. So let's get into for ourselves. The vehicle looks nice. It's just a little, nice little Autobot logo. It's a transfer plastic. The back here is nice. Kill. This little joint dresser bag. It's got a little feet here. Down. Now, unfortunately, there's no wheels. This is kind of disappointing. He does not have the wheels. That's kind of a disappointment. That's fine with it. He does not have the wheels. That's kind of unfortunate. That. Now the transform to blur for to do is let's take it and unpeg his leg. Now first to do is unpeg. Gonna be careful. Oh. Now first thing is un. Let's see, unpeg. Rotate around. Next to do is start unpeg his, unpeg his little. But first to do is rotate around. Let's see. Do rotate. So rotating his do the exact same. Now let's do on peg over here and do the same. Next to do is now what the heck there's a ours oh there's Blur's head. No. You gotta be careful. Don't want to get his break his piece. I'll be really terrifying. What if his piece or gets break? That'll be broke. Now let's sort of untake his little joint and rotate. So close in piece. Then do the exact same. Then fall the back and start closing and snap the piece. 
So here is Blur and his Robo Mode. And you can see he's this peg won't connect for some reason. In case. Let's leave it at that. So that is Blur and his Robo Mode. Now this figure stands about he's a five and a half inches tall. To size comparison, here's next to the hot rod. Here's next to the hot rod. Looks pretty same sizes. In case. Now the figure sell the head still for blur. Here's a better look. I think it looks nice little detail. I really like this detail. Oh crap, I almost forgot the rotate. Oh yeah, I completely forgot I forgot the rotate chest. Okay, sorry about that. So yeah, the chat looks nice. I like his translucent, his Autobot logo. Yes, I was completely mistaken. I turned rotations and there, let's fix it. So here is where a nice detail. I really like his detail. And then it's nice. Shows a little back here. And peoples. I think has what nail with the job looks. My only <laughs> my only complaint this figure I have is this here. It's supposed to be stay connect is they won't stay. They won't peg. This is kind of disappointment. I don't know why. This looks like maybe because, or maybe I have this one. It's just lose, or maybe this just broke by accident. That's pretty unfortunate. Now, as far as the weapon mentioned before, the blaster uh, you can actually hold to his cannon here at blaster's hands, and his other one he has a cannon goes. Now it's got a little peg here. Goes on the hands, looks like that. And here I have Blur is holding his tools. It looks like he's getting repaired to fix repair to Ultra Magnus. I have no idea. That's an option choice. This one. Now there's a variant for RC or not RC. Now there's a variant for Blur figure. Now, there is the Walmart exclusives. I think it's called Velocity Tron Collection of RC Art Blur. Now, this thing, Blur, is the same mold, except paint, except his head. His head is based on IDW Comics, which is kind of weird one was that. And I wonder what, the, what version meant. So, there was also another variant for Blur. There was also Shatter Glass Blur. This thing is the same mold, except the colors are dark blue and black with this eye patch. Yeah, I, I'm not going to spoil you have read the Shadow Glass comic. I think higher than this. Now, for articulation for Blur, he does get head corroded, pressing his fingers, goes up and down. Also, on the back, he has a little translucent plastic. There's the translucent blue eyes, light pipings. His arms goes up and down, goes in and out that much. It has a bicep swivel, then to the elbow. It does have weird wrist movement. Can't rotate, but can't rotate wrist because it's hated by transformation. No wrist movement because it's transformations. It does swivel waist. Its leg is forward and back. It goes in and out that much. It has a thigh swivel, then in the knee, and a single side to side. That's about the articulation in this one. So there's my review of the Studio Series A6 Deluxe Class Blur. Overall, this is actually pretty decent. It was okay here, not my favorite. It looks pretty nice with how we did looks at G1 and accurate. I really wish that legs like, so could have fixed it that was that things. It just falls out. They could have just pegged it and locked tight. I think it'd be nice to be perfect with this. I mean, you have this one or some looses by accident. So anyway, hopefully. It I think I like the nice detail. I think I think a high recommend the blur figures, high recommend the collections. There is also Titan Returns Blur, which I did not have, which I don't looks very similarious ones. So I hope you enjoy this one. Well, high recommend the seeker. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below your thought. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. So thanks for watching and goodbye.